everybody, it is Thursday, and I'm Suzanne from 120 Crayons. So thank you guys for all answering my questions. Rachel, um, I'm I'm glad you joined us. Welcome. Um, I really liked your video. I was like, I was watching it and I was just like, I really hope that she's not really going to do this. But I saw humor in it. I hope that's what you meant. <laughs> because, I mean, I know that it's a factual thing and you can actually do that. We've talked about that in my psychology class. But, like, the whole, like, and for this experiment, blah, 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 sent, like, I don't know. It sounded almost like you were talking about, like, a cooking recipe. And your question was, if I could implant a memory, what would the memory be and who would I implant it in? I don't really know, like, I would want, if I were to implant a memory in a child, I would want it to be something that would benefit them in their future, but at the same time, like, you never really know what's going to benefit somebody in their future because you haven't seen their future yet. Kind of like time travel. I mean, it's not really time travel, but it would have the same effects, you know? Like... Implanting a memory into a kid is going to change their entire life, even if the memory is totally mundane. Um, and one season to go without. I would go without summer. You can keep adding clothes and blankets and stuff, but you can only take off so many clothes and blankets. You can't take your skin off when it gets too hot. <laughs> We're not Buffalo Bill. Ed, I... Your question to Jesse's question about body modifications. Those Darth Maul horns are pretty crazy. But I have to admit, if I ever got really rich, I would give I would get um elf ears. Also, your answer to my question, we have the same guilty pleasures pretty much. So much dirtiness. People just don't know how to clean up after themselves. It's like, if you pee on the floor, wipe it up. <laughs> and thanks for showing us happy Keanu. The whole sad Keanu Reeves was kind of like, well, it was sad. But the happy made me happy. <laughs> the question was, would I use classified or Craigslist for to find jobs or some stuff? Yes. In fact, the two jobs that I have right now, I found either in the classifieds or on Craigslist. <laughs> the apartment that I live in, we found on Craigslist. They're, they're there for us to use. Uh, you have to be wary. There are some super creepers, especially on Craigslist, who will try to get you to come over and then rape you and stuff like that. So you gotta be careful, but I think that, you know, they're useful. And Jesse, that song is in Train Spotting, you know? And it just came on and I just had train spotting flashes in my head like Ewan McGregor or <laughs> Katy Perry what band would I want to see live what is Suzanne's favorite band here's to the pain the light of the oncoming train come on oh to solitude in dream of what that experience would be like it would just be awesome like even if they suck in concert just the fact that I've seen them would be like they're they're pretty much right now they're almost like figments of my imagination like they're not real to me until I see them in person and get a touch really mm -hmm. my movie review for this week is gonna be on easy a it was a really good movie. It was a lot funnier than I thought it would be. Like, I thought it would just be, like, another chick flick, you know? But it was actually hilarious. Um, my question for you this week, how do you like your toast? I hope you guys have a good rest of the week.